I am Mark Janssen, a professor at Arizona State University in the USA, and I am presenting a study I did with Alan Appel, an undergraduate student at ASU. We present the results of a bibliometric study of the literature on African comments, which we did in preparation of this conference. The main goal of our study is to get an overview of the field, who are the key authors, or where do they publish. Knowing this information would help to identify people who might be interested to participate in this web conference. It has to be noted that I am not a scholar on African comments myself. It happens to be that I am the president of the IOC and wanted to organize this conference with Avaresto and Coffee to increase the capacity the African region within the IRC. Doing this analysis helped me to get a better overview of the field. A bibliometric analysis is a formal study of published records. One of the first decisions to make is which database to use to collect the bibliometric data. We use the ISI Web of Science database, which contains a broad spectrum of publications from the last few decades. It has a good quality of data, such as metadata, abstract and references that can be extracted without too much trouble. Like any choice of a database, there are some biases. The ISI Web of Science mainly focuses on journal publications and most articles are written in English. We have to realize this when we look at the results. It is important to realize that we do not aim to be complete, but to get a systematic overview of the field using a few objective search terms. There are two types of searches to identify publications. One is the keyword-based search, looking for certain terms listed in the title, abstract, or keywords. The other search is based on seeds, that looks which publication cites the seeds. We did a few iterations of our analysis. We shared some initial results with colleagues who are knowledgeable about the African Commons literature to get feedback on the keywords and seeds we were using. The results depend on those keywords and seeds, and we look forward to hear about additional suggestions you may have for improvements. We collected the data we present on March 5th of this year. We had a number of keywords such as common property, comments, common pool resources, and also names, Ostrom and Harding. And we only select the publications if the title, abstract, or keywords also refer to Africa or an African country. We had two types of seeds. We included articles that cited Ostrom's governing the comments or Harding's strategy of the comments if they also included Africa or an African country in the title, abstract or keywords. And we included articles that cite Mikabe or Peters. This led to a database of 2,176 publications. Next, we check, checked each of those publications whether they were relevant. Publications could have entered the database because they had a Creative Commons attribution written within the abstract, or the research was about African Americans, or other reasons may have existed that the publication was not relevant for a database on African Commons literature. This led to a final database of 1,750 publications. We now present some descriptive statistics of this database. We see that the number of publications a year is steadily increasing to about 150 articles a year. The information for 2020 is incomplete, which explains the smaller number for 2020. In this slide, we look at authors. On the left, we see the most productive authors within the database. Tobias Haller, one of the presenters at this conference, has the most articles in the database namely 40. On the right, we see the authors that are most cited by the articles in the database. 
no surprises that Ulster and Harden, two of our seats, are most cited. Number three is Arun Agarwal from the University of Michigan, and will also participate in this conference in our webinar on July 27th. Here we see the 10 publications that have the most citations by the articles in the database. The two seats are on the top of the list. We see a number of classic books on the list, such as Douglas North, Michael Olson, and the Magnus Alpus of Eleanor Ostrom, Understanding Institutional Diversity. Where are the articles published? At the left, we see the journals which have the most papers in the database. World Development has the most articles in the database, followed by Human Ecology and Ecology and Society. At the right, we see the journals most cited by papers in the database. And also we see World well Development listed as number one. Using the information on the residents of the authors, we created a pie chart of the geographical distribution of authors. It is remarkable that only one fourth of the authors on African commons has their residence in Africa itself. Most authors have residence in Europe or North America. One of the motivations for organizing this conference is to provide African scholars in Africa an opportunity to share their work. In the second pie chart, we see that the share of presenters at this conference is largely having their residence in Africa. Many of the scholars in North America and Europe are African students or faculty. As such, our conference has a better representation of the African continent. It also helps that we allow presentation in both English and French. Using the software package Fox Viewer, we created a network of authors connected if they cite the same articles. Authors who are more similar in connections have the same color compared to authors with other colors. We see that some colors represent long-standing collaborations of authors of similar work, such as yellow on pastoralism or the dark blue on water towers in Kenya. We conclude by observing that there is a growing body of work on African continents. We recognize that this analysis has its limitations based on the database and search terms used. Nevertheless, it provides some interesting insights, such as the major share of published research on African comments done by scholars with residents outside Africa. We hope that conferences like this could increase the African representation in the published literature. Thank mm -hmm. you.